All right, so we're going to be taking a look at a owner suite. So we want to talk about building codes for bathrooms. Your textbook has quite a bit of stuff, as well as the internet. And we have a document here that breaks down some of those building codes and even makes some suggestions on sizes. All right, we have types of bathrooms. And as you explore an owner suite, let's think about what you want to get into. Um, even the type of house you might be putting the bathroom in. This area here is where we want to spend a little bit of time. Okay, and these are some of the big building codes we want to focus on. First thing is hallways. You're going to be connecting your owner suite with maybe some small hallways. You're going to have a hallway upstairs at your house that might be connecting bedrooms. So just to cover that, the International Residential Code says that a hallway shall not be less than three feet all right, wide. All right. You can always look up stuff. IRC stands for International Residential Code. That's where our textbook is based off of. So you can always look up International Residential Code and then whatever it is you're looking for. But hallways, not less than three feet wide. All right. The next big piece we want to look at is, is what they refer to as clear floor space. Okay. So when we get into a bathroom, and you see here we have a bathtub, sink, and toilet. This door swings out. All right. In this shaded area here, they tell us that they would prefer this to be 30 inches by 48 inches. That's clear floor space. Nothing is in the way here, okay? Person can walk around, access all the different fixtures in the bathroom. We want to avoid having to stand on top of a toilet or get inside a bathtub to open doors and move around and take care of business. So 30 by 48 is that nice clear floor space they'd like to see, all right? Now, doors are not allowed to swing into that clear floor space, except if it's greater than 30 by 48. So as you design your bathroom, leave yourself a clear floor space in the middle that's 30 by 48 and you should be fine. If a tub and a toilet use that same clear floor space, they'd recommend that you bump that up to 48 by 60. Okay, so again, good, good graphic here you can look at. This website is also linked on our assignment. And if you scroll down here, they talk to you about distances from a sink moving out into the bathroom. They recommend 30 inches, but you can actually get as small as 21 inches. All right, that will meet code. Again, you couldn't have a door swinging into here, but you'll be fine. So 21 inches is the minimum, 30 is the recommended. And again, that goes back to that 30 by 48 inch clear space. Okay. So use these websites to your uh, benefit here. You can see, again, some recommended sizes, some minimum sizes. You can even see here they recommend between a toilet and a tub 30 inches. That would take care of 30. And then you could have 40 inches, 48 inches left to right. But you could get as small as 21. Okay. Hop on the internet. Do some searching. Bathroom building codes gave me quite a bit of stuff. ADA stands for America with Disabilities Act, which is Handicap Accessibility. IRC is our building code that our textbook runs off of. And you can find lots of great stuff. Just go in the image section of Google and you'll be all set. Good luck with your project. Can't wait to see what you guys are doing.